What up, YouTube? It's Robert Marshall, the Ohio Rambling Vapor 740, coming at you from the Concord, Ohio. What's up, Vape family? So today, I'm going to do a little episode, a little, like, kind of vlog, kind of video thing. Okay, so what we're going to do today, guys, is I want to put up a video, um, and, and, and if you're a super advanced vapor, this may be helpful to you. If you're a newer vapor, it could be very helpful to you. So uh, first thing I'm going to start out with is uh, to put a shout out out to the, the people that are helping me. Uh, Nathan's going to do some new editing to my stuff and try to make the YouTube channel better. Um, so thank you, Nathan, man. I also want to put a shout out to my dudes at Fog Dogs, which I'm a prospect for their vape team. They have no absolutely zero connection to my YouTube channel other than I'm on that team. And uh, also, I want to put a big shout out to uh, um, Havoc Vape Cotton or Mayhem Cotton. Those guys rock. I mean, y'all should check it out if you're any kind of advanced vape that uses some of these more advanced stuff. You should definitely check out Mayhem Cotton. It's 100% rayon, best cotton I've ever used. End of pitch. Anyway, they're great guys. Check them out. Also, don't forget that the Ohio, Ram Ohio Rambling Vapor owns his own coil building company here in Ohio. It's called Clyde Around Vapors. Um, you can look it up. Um, on Facebook, okay? So, yes, 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 I do make my own coil. I have my own coil company. So anyway, let's get into the video. Let's have a puff. Bam! Let's get to the bigger, better deal. Okay, guys, so here's what we're doing today. Um, I want to go over some stuff, depending on what level of vapor you are. It depends on whether this video is pertinent. A more advanced vapor, this may be helpful. If you're a brand new vapor, or you ha you're stuck on one thing or the other, there's options. So what we're doing is like an options video on the kinds of devices and the kinds of um, options you have for your way to fulfill your vape experience. And this doesn't include e-cig juices or what coils you buy from a company. We'll get into that later and whatnot. But basically, I'm gonna go through a short video of the kinds of things you can vape, the kinds of devices that we have as options, and the combinations between those options, okay? First thing we're gonna start out with, in my opinion, the ever sinful salt neck device. This happens to be an Ops one. Just so everyone knows, I stopped using salt nicotine. So this is free base, but this is a salt nicotine type device. Salt nicotine itself is a high concentrated nicotine. The devices are very simple. Um, they usually have small pods and either one button operation or their auto draw. Mine happens to light up. The Ops one's interesting. And these types of devices are to help people quit smoking or starter kits or for advanced vapors to have for small devices and we're out on a go, okay? These are one of the options that you have. Most of these are internal battery and uh, have, uh, most of these have internal battery and some kind of replaceable pod. Or you get into the AIO system, which is an all-in-one system. Um, and the AIO system will have replacement coils as opposed to replacement pods or a combination of the two. Okay, so there's your salt neck devices. These are for smokers and they, they wield high nicotine levels usually they yield high nicotine levels and help you quit smoking or maintain while you're out and about if you don't want to take one of your mods with you. Okay, so we're moving on to the next idea of device. So this is more like a starter device. This is a lot of you guys probably have these if you're newer smokers or even if you're older advanced vapors, these are pretty common in vape life. The next thing that we have is the sub tank. Please ignore what it's on because we'll get to that in a minute. But the next thing we have is the sub tank. This happens to be the Freemax Mesh Pro. And sub tanks are relatively simple ideas about vaping. They're the next step basically up from this, okay, where you have to have some kind of device to put them on, regulated device that has a screen and that regulates your wattage or voltage. I would suggest wattage, not as much voltage, especially if you're new. If you're older, do your thing, homie. But uh, basically the sub tank will have a coil, a larger coil, obviously, than what's in one of these. And you can replace these coils when they go bad and these make a lot more vapor and they require more power. They also are usually sat on devices that are larger, regulated devices like this particular Asmodus Luna. Or I have a Smoant Cylon that I run some stuff on. Regulated devices that are made for these type of sub tanks. And so you have your sub tank, which is a coil involvement, you pour your juice in there and you vape it. You know, so it's relatively simple. It's not as complicated. You can use three and six and nine milligram e juice instead of 25 and 35 and 50 milligram e juice and such as this. So you're lowering or moving on, plus you're gonna get bigger vapor production. But the sub tank is the next thing about the options that you have 
if you're on something like this and you're wanting to step up, this is kind of the way to go in the movement of the thing. You always jump ship and go over to more advanced stuff that we'll discuss later. And so while we're discussing this, regulated devices or devices that have screens, this one happens to be touchscreen and has a bunch of adjustments, but it'll regulate your wattage so you don't burn up your coil, so you run them with the proper wattages and stuff. And people at your local vape store or uh, friends of yours that already vape can always help with things like that. These are easy operation, pretty decent flavor. This Freemax has great flavor, pretty decent flavor, good vapor production, simple use. We've already discussed the regulated device thing. They can be used, this particular device can be used for sub tanks, it can be used for RTAs, RDTAs, or you can put a dripper on this, but we'll get to the rest of the equipment, okay? So you had your salt nicotine, okay, with the replacement pods or, you know, AIOs, then you had your sub tank with the replacement coils and your regulated device. You can also use your regulated device for another tank style, which is called an RTA. This happens to be the Dead Rabbit RTA. This is a rebuildable tank atomizer. And this is like this, okay? Only you have to take this apart and build your own coils into it. So that is an RTA. There's another kind of device that's the halfway in between that is called an RDTA, which is rebuildable dripping atomizer. Okay, so um, rebuildable tank dripping atomizer. It's very confusing. So, but this is an RTA or rebuildable tank atomizer. And this is the next step up from the sub tank. Okay, and you take this apart. Um, it also has a tank section where you fill juice into it so you don't have to drip straight onto your coils, um, but you have to open the deck. There are no coils built into this. They're not replacement coils. You build your own coils. You put them inside of this. You wick them. You fill it up with juice and you vape it. They're phenomenal flavor because they're rebuildable and you're using cotton in your own coils. And as you become more advanced builder, um, they get even better. They are a little bit harder and they do take a little bit more time and patience with the wicking and stuff so they don't leak and so you don't get dry hits because you know you're building and you don't really have access to like your deck per se most of the time. So you wanna make sure you have it wicked right and that you have the proper things in it and that you adjust your airflow proper, all of that. But this is the next step after the sub tank and the salt nick really is a tanks if you're into tanks is a tank system that has the flavor of a dripper without the inconvenience of having to drip all the time okay so the next thing we're going to get into is another dripper option so for those of you who have no idea by some weird chance what i'm talking about a rebuildable dripping atomizer which is what the deck is in an rta an rdta or anything else that i discussed it's a dripper or a squonker this is the idea of it so this would come with a blank deck if i could get it to focus this is just an ohm reader and so i have the deck of one of my rdas on here which happens to be the rebirth by mike vapes okay and this would have just this bottom deck piece and wouldn't have any coils you would need to build coils for it install them and make sure that they're safe and then in order to utilize this piece of equipment properly you would um put this on a mod whether it be regulated or mechanical and when this the wicks are dry and you get dry hits you would remove the cap or this one particularly you can do this without removing the cap and you would drip e-cig juice directly onto your coils and your cotton it maximizes your flavor and your vapor reduction dramatically okay it's also harder and you do have to learn the skill of building i'm just going through options for everyone right now pretty much to give you the options but that if you didn't know what an rda is sub tank replaceable coils rta rebuildable tank atomizer is a tank with a rebuild deck in it. RDA, rebuildable dripping atomizer. Next thing we're gonna go over is this, okay? This involves a dripping, a rebuildable dripping atomizer or RDA. My cotton is out of control because this is a dead rabbit and they do this. So this, this, is, this is the complication. For all of you who are watching, this is an RDA. And this particular RDA, I will show you, has a hole that is built into the bottom of it. So this would have came just like another RDA with blankness, no coils, and you would build your coils and you would wick this yourself, put your wicks through your cotton. Okay, but in the bottom of this beautiful piece of equipment, as you can see, if it'll focus, try to get it to focus. For everyone who does not know, that is a hole that runs into, that is a hollow hole in the bottom of this RDA that allows for you to use what we call a squonking or bottom feeding mod, okay? And this 
although I sound patronizing, I'm trying to teach people who don't know, okay? It's an informational video for newer vapors or even advanced vapors who may not know the terminology or know all the options that they have, okay? And this will go on to a mod, which we call a squonk mod or a bottom feeding mod. This happens to be the Dofo Topside Dual. There are a bunch of companies that make regulated squonkers. This is a regulated squonker that has regulated wattage, okay? But this mod is special because here, see there's a bottle here, okay? And this bottle allows me to um, self drip this. So there's, this has juice inside of it and I vape this, which I'm gonna do. And when this gets dry, as opposed to a dripper, where I would have to take my cap off and either paint or or pour juice into the opening of my drip tip to rewet my cotton for my RTA, for my rebuild, or for my build that's inside, I simply push this button, push this button. You like that? Push the button. Backwards are high rain, but you hear that noise? Um, so I would push this bottle, and that bottle will squirt juice from this bottle up through my RDA, through that hole I showed you, and into my RDA, and basically redrip my RDA for me. This is a bottom feeding RDA. This is, that has a pin. So here's the thing, when it comes to squonkers, uh, most new RDAs come with a pin called a bottom feeding pin that allows this to happen so you can use them on squonk devices, whether unregulated or regulated. Now, regulated mods are mods that have screens and you can change the voltage and wattage. Unregulated mods are mods that, or what we call mechanical mods, can be several different kinds of things. You have mechanical tube mods. This happens to be a purge slim piece. It's an 18650 side fire mechanical mod with a dripper on it. And then you're going to have dual and triple battery mechanical mods, and then you'll have series mechanical mods, okay? And series means that they run at a higher voltage, one battery up, one battery down, or I've seen triple mechanical mods that run three batteries that are either in parallel or in series. That's for another video is the voltage versus wattage safety build type stuff. But the squonker will allow you to drip uh, without the inconvenience of having to squonk into it or, or drip straight onto it. This allows you to drip it from the bottom or to feed it from the bottom. This is an advanced vapor option for people who can build but don't like to have to drip. This is the medium way between uh, this and this kind of. Um, this allows you to have a tank space underneath for your dripper. Flavor phenomenal. I don't find it as good as dripping but it's very convenient and it's close to the experience of dripping because you're feeding it from the bottom. I prefer to drip straight on my coils so that my chuffs um, have, have that flavor more saturated in them and this basically just feeds your wicks. You don't get a lot on the coils. There are some RDAs you can squat clear up to where they go over your coils. We'll get into that at some other point in time or ones that actually feed the juice onto the tops of your coils where they saturate your wicks like the Pulse X RDA by Vandy Vape. And then the last and final option is the dripper and mechanical devices. And we went over what mechanical devices there are optional. I showed you this already. This is a single 18650. They also make these in 2700, 21700, and they make them in stacked, which makes them series, um, where two of these would be stacked on top of each other, 1860, 2700, 21700. And of course, all the regulated devices. I own 21700 regulated devices. It's all different battery sizes. Just pay attention when you buy things. If you're newer, to ask someone at the vape store or research it online by y'all watching YouTube videos to find out if you're buying the right batteries. Make sure you buy the best quality batteries you can. So then there's the mechanical mod, which this one happens to be a side fire. You push the button down on the side and it fires the RDA. There's also bottom button fire where you push the bottom button. Most mechanical mods other than the Slim and a couple other companies, the Slam, which is a bigger version, which is 21700. Uh, these are all made by Purge. And then you have the grip that's made by Immortal Mods, and it's a side fire also. The rest of the mechanical mods. Someone correct me in my comments if I'm wrong. I don't know of any other side fires. You can always add comments to let the people know. There's other side fires. Anyway, I'm rambling because I'm the higher aim of the vapor, so I'm just going to shut up and vape. This option is obviously, as much as I talk about it, my favorite option. I love mechanical mods. Um, there's some safety stuff that goes with them. You don't want your batteries too dead. You don't want to build too low. They're very warm. They saturate your your vape experience. You get very warm, dense, beautiful vapor if you build on the lower scale of like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.
0.15 or not to be advised. Um, I don't do as I say, I do, you know, um, I can tell you not to build on mechanicals as a newer vapor under say like 0.1 ohms. You know, I do run builds on 2700s and 2700s sometimes in the 0 0.9, 0 0.08 area. Mostly not on 18650s like this. This one's right around the uh, 0 0.12, 0 0.15 area. The vape's very good, it's very warm, it's very awesome. The RDA, or Rebuildable Atomizer, or is the Goon 25, it's an authentic Goon 25 on my Slim Piece, which is dirty, this is a raw copper slim by Purge. I also have a Slam Piece coming, a uh, Tungsten Slam Piece I was super excited about. Anyway, this is the Ohio Room Vapor trying to give you your options for vaping. Remember, vape's happy, happy vape safe, and uh, thank you for listening to me ramble and rant. This is the, again, this is the Ohio Rambling Vapor 740 coming at you from the Concord, Ohio. Vape happy, vape safe. Doesn't matter what you do, just vape. <laughs>